Yo guys, what's up? And welcome back to my 12th month in my social media management journey. So let's just roll the intro. Let's get right into it. All right, cool. So, so this was the 12th month. Honestly, at the beginning, it was really discouraging because I realized like, damn, I've been doing this for a year at the beginning of the month and I had nothing to show for it. I mean, we had some stuff coming in. Uh, we got a setup fee for $1,000 for one of our our clients that we had at the time on commission. But that, that 1000 plus another $800 uh, a week after was the only payment we were ever going to get from him because it was only a setup fee. And then after that, it was only commission. Um, and I had to honor that deal because I had said it earlier. But after that, we kind of realized like, we're only able to get in contact with people willing to do commission, even if they do a setup fee, because we're doing SMS and we're getting in contact with really low quality people, right? So we needed to make sure that we weren't talking to low quality people anymore. And the way that I had seen my friends do well and talk to higher ticket people was always through email outreach, um, instantly AI specifically. Uh, I'll leave a link to a video below on how to set that up. It's by this guy Christian he's super helpful um and I set that up and almost immediately we saw results for like higher ticket remodeling people which it, which is my niche and that was going well I was calling him and then around the same time that two week ish mark I had a video that I kind of done well a few weeks ago about Joel Kaplan's agency lab that I made and Joel actually DM me and said like, hey man, I love the vid. Uh, let's hop on a one-on-one -on -one call so I can audit your agency and help you out in exchange for making a video about my program. And I was like, oh, no way. Joel watched the video, which was really cool to see. And we hop on a one-on-one -on -one call. Uh, and I told him my niche, which was remodeling. And he's like, bro, you got to switch. Like... Yeah, your service delivery is good. It's decent. But there's no point in being like the best ping pong player in the world when you're never going to get paid when you could be like LeBron James. And he said that to me. I was like, oh, well, that's awesome. I just wasted the past six months of my life in an awful niche, right? Um, so I didn't want to quit. I didn't want to give up. And it was really hard for me. But essentially, I wasted the first half of the one on one call with Joel telling him that he was wrong and that I was going to make my niche work. But eventually I gave in and we came up with a game plan to go into a new niche, split testing two different ones that he chose for me uh, with kind of the skill sets that he knew I had. And we just kind of, with everything we'd had set up, we, we knew exactly what to do. We just changed the instantly scripts and then used those script changes in order to test new offers and see what would work as far as these new niches that we were testing. And then as soon as we found something that worked well, we just kind of doubled down on it and bought more emails so we could do more. So we went from doing maybe 500 SMS outreach a day, um, actually probably more than that. It's probably like a thousand SMS outreach a day or 2000 SMS outreach a day, but it was super low quality. And we went from doing that to doing 2000 super high quality emails a day. And it was just a night and day difference. Almost immediately, we were able to talk to very high quality people in the new niche. However, we weren't able to organize it just because we had so many positive replies coming through. And I didn't know who I needed to call, when I needed to call them, how quickly I needed to call them, what I needed to say on the calls, how to organize people who didn't pick up, how to set demos, close. Like, it was a whole thing. Um... But luckily, uh, we were in an agency lab, just kind of hopped on the calls. I asked him the questions and we figured that out. Meanwhile, while we were figuring all this out, I had gone from my house in, I guess, more Northern California to San Diego, where I'm at right now. And I was just living here alone, house sitting for, for one of my cousins. And we were able to, in that time while I was alone and able to focus, I was able to call enough people and just do enough research on the niche to actually close some people. And I closed my first ever retainer, which was great. Um, we're starting ads tomorrow. I closed a trial for $500 for 
for a done for you system. So that's probably going to be two grand after that. And we're going to build testimonials from that as well. And now I just need to figure out service delivery. But honestly, it was a really good month. I think we ended out just above three grand around $3,300, which is amazing. Like, even though I would have been so disappointed in myself if I told Levi a year ago that it's going to take you a year to make $3,300 in a month. Um, I It feels good because I, I know I can do it again and hopefully continue to scale, right? Um, with that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know that there will be a video coming soon of everything that I've learned over the course of the year, so over the full 12 months, as well as uh, the weekly calls in my Discord we just had one with a agency lab sales coach. He came in and kind of helped people out with sales. Uh, so if you want to join that, go ahead and uh, DM me on Instagram and I'll, I'll let you guys in. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, it's been a year and see you guys. Peace.